Choice. Hi, I'm Tracy. Okay, hi, I'm Mr. Jeremy. Hi, I'm Penny. I'm Miss Laura, I'm the PE teacher. Hello, I'm Miss Michelle, I'm the principal at Seifold International School. Hi, I'm Miss Chloe. My name is Zuraida, I teach commerce and Malay. Bonjour. I am Madame Bousquet, your French teacher. Hi, I'm Dave from Math Department. Hi everyone, my name is Harinder Singh and I teach English language. I'm teaching in Seifo for the past uh, 20 over years. Huxtable, um, I joined Seifo in 2015 as primary principal, uh, left in 2019 for a sabbatical and came back in 2021. And I'm a primary six teacher at Seifold. I've been a teacher for about 10 years. I'm teaching kindergarten too now. I've been at Seifold for about two years now. I'm the Mandarin teacher in Seifold International School for nine years. Convert your negatives into positives. Uh, I'm also deputy principal at Seifold. I've never thought of any other profession except being a teacher. Passion, I'm a teacher. It's it's not just a job for me, it's who I am. Uh, the love for learning. I love to learn, so that's part of who I am. Um, I like children. Mm. Okay, that's the main thing. Um, oh, I think, maybe not one word, but passing on knowledge. When I was at high school, secondary school, um, I had some teachers that I really liked, so they inspired me to continue and to learn to become a teacher. I want to have a positive, inspiring impact on my students' lives. In one word, my love for the English language. Passion for teaching. Uh, that's an interesting question because uh, when I was in school, um, especially in primary school, I had wonderful teachers. I always used to look up to them. seems such a big transition over the years and especially during the pandemic and uh, I think that approaches have changed, students have changed, their mentality and students just about five years ago are different. Well I came into teaching later on, I didn't choose to become a teacher simply because I, I had some horrible teachers when I was at school so I thought that teaching was just about being told what to do. I think I've grown as a person, I've grown to learn to love others uh, in the way they need to be loved and by students and um, I learned to see the best in people even when it's difficult so that's all from me. It was my ambition from very young age because I love the work of young children. Um, I haven't been teaching that long so it's not changed so much but um, definitely people have become more um, interested in sport, there's a lot more sports available which is good and teaching abroad as well has given me opportunities to teach other sports. Okay. Uh, I originally started as a secondary PE teacher and then after a few years teaching and becoming uh, head of department I decided to move upwards uh, and I was a deputy principal and now I am a principal. As the saying goes, once a teacher, always a teacher. My first career was a teacher and after 9 years I'm still a teacher because I'm proud to be a teacher. Um, teaching is a calling but it is also a responsibility. If your heart is not in it, you will be doing a great disservice to the students in your classroom. It has uh, adjusted to my students' needs. Technology! Yeah. Over the past 20 years, uh, I have come across many different uh, students, many different teachers and learning styles and the, the, the change has been tremendous, especially in the past five years where we have learned more about how technology integration can really lift up the learning. Uh, so that's about it. The teachers in Seifel have dedicated their all into teaching us, guiding us and preparing us for our future. There are more than teachers in the classroom, and there are teachers in maturity, discipline, and friendship. They are one of the biggest keys to our success. We are beyond grateful for what they have done and what they will continue to do. Thank you, teachers, for whatever you have all done and sacrificed for us. And a very happy Teacher's Day.